Have you ever read this news? The Prime Minister of Australia, Mr. Tony Abbott, sorry, I mean the former Prime Minister, <laughs> has agreed that by 2030, Australia is going to cut its greenhouse gas emissions by 30% below the level of 2005. What does this mean? Climate change is happening. Now it's really not the time to doubt this, but to deal with it. To deal with it, we need to understand it. We need to predict the climate trend in the future. How do we do that? Luckily, we have weather climate prediction models. If you want to get a satisfying climate prediction from a model, we first need accurate inputs of many factors, including the wind speed, the air pressure, and many others. Among these, the sea surface temperature, which my thesis will focus on, is one of the most important ones. Unfortunately, there is a common deficiency regarding the sea surface temperature in many of the models we use today. Now let's say, if you are going for a swim in the ocean, when will you go, at 3 p.m. or at 3 a.m.? I'm sure most people prefer to go at 3 p.m. Why? Because it's warmer. Normally, the sea surface temperature is one to two degrees warmer in the day than in the night. But under some extreme conditions, when the weather is clear and calm, like the day you want to go for a swim, this temperature difference can be as high as seven or eight degrees. However, in many models we use today, the sea surface temperature data they use are the monthly or weekly average data, which means this large day-night temperature difference is missing. My thesis is solving this problem in two steps. Step number one, we need to quantify the effects of this large day-night temperature difference on climate and on weather. Initial results show that these effects are pretty big. How big are they? Well, if you really want to know, I can send you my paper. <laughs> Step number two, we need to include these effects into those models to improve their accuracy. So hopefully in the future, with these improved models, we can understand climate change better, we can deal with it better, and we can save this polar bear in a better way. Thank you very much.